So I'm uh, servicing this 2020 Ram 1500 4x4. It has the stop start system by the looks of it. 5.7 Hemi. We've got a clean battery charger hooked up to it. And I was looking at some data in uh, YTAC 2. It shows 29 controllers on the various buses and there's three, six, seven, eight flash updates. The green lightning bolts indicate that there's program updates to those modules. But I was just curious uh, how much different the snap-on scan tool would be than, than this YTEC OE software as you can see is, is communicating with uh, 29 controllers. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 controllers. The, the grayed out controllers are optional or not present on the bus for whatever reason. I would say they're optional because this is a brand new vehicle. Well, 17,000 kilometers is as good as new as you get. So let's connect with the snap-on scan tool and see how it compares. Okay, so I've got my Varus Edge here running 21.2 software. Um, I've scanned this truck once already, so I'm going to try reactivating it. This time I've got the ignition key on, or the ignition active. So it auto ID'd, that's a good sign. Display fitted systems. We're going to attempt this network code scan again. Display fitted systems. So it's checking for a secure gateway, it says it's authorized. Requesting authorization, you got to have access to the internet to scan the vehicle. And now we're unlocked, believe it or not. So we're going to do a network code scan here and see how many controllers respond on this network. Engine, transmission, anti-lock brakes, airbag, active vibration cancelling, amplifier, battery pack control module, blind spot sensor, blind spot sensor right, body control module, comfort rear seat module, comfort seat wheel module, display screen module, driver's door module, passenger door module, drivetrain control module, electric power steering, electronic shifter module, HVAC, hybrid control processor, and I think it's at the end. Integrated trailer brake, memory seat, occupant classification, parktronics, and radio, Radio frequency hub and secure gateway, steering column, tire pressure. Okay, so how many modules did it actually access? 30. But that's because Snap-on breaks out the OBD2 side as a separate module. Well, there was 29 I counted on uh, YTEC, so it appears to gain access to all the modules and there are no codes in any modules like the other scan tools supported or reported. Let's look at the engine verification. Version not found in database. This thing's too new. Select closest variant. Oh, and I'm supposed to know which one is which. Well, we're just going to back out of here for now. One thing about the Snap-on software is it gives you the, you know, the acronym for the module LBSS, Blind Spot Sensor Left. Uh, I was looking at some of the modules on the uh, YTEC software. You know, you're supposed to know what all those acronyms stand for. PTS, Parktronics, Radio, CCMCM. Like, where do you get that CMCM? Who knows? Some of them are pretty intuitive, like DDM is driver's door module, but 
CRSM. If you don't have this broken down for you, it's pretty hard to figure out what it is. Mind you, there's probably a way in YTAC to put the cursor over it and have it explain what it is. But that's it for now. I just thought I'd do a comparison on this thing. I was experimenting with it. just to, And I did reset the oil life monitor. So looking around in these uh, engines or these modules on this vehicle and I see this active vibration cancelling ca active vibration cancellation system. So there's a module and a couple of electric motors that generate a frequency and a vibration to counteract vibrations in the drivetrain which are inherently there because of the displacement on demand or cylinder active management. Wow. What kind of data do we have for them to, from this module? I swear these engineers are playing whack-a-mole. Fix one problem and create two more. Fix those two problems, create four more. So all this data, little electric motors. I wonder if this will do any functional tests in here. Miscellaneous functions. Uh, active vibration control, left actuator control. This procedure actuates the left AVC system for 10 seconds in the following screens. Select both the hertz and degrees in which the system will be actuated. Key on, vehicle not moving, vehicle on a flat, non-vibrating surface. What would be a vibrating surface? Hmm, continue. Okay, I'm going to wait for my battery charger to turn off so I can hear this over the battery charger cooling fan. Okay, so the battery charger is turned off. I'm going to activate it at 35 hertz and 90 degrees. And I can hear what sounds like an electric motor running with a hum. Activates it for 10 seconds. Huh. I'm going to put the camera down by the vehicle and activate it. Let's shut the door. Yeah, I'm going to activate it again. This time at 45 hertz, 90 degrees. You can feel that vibration in the cab of the vehicle. Wow. That's fine until it has to be fixed. Then it'll be a nice to have feature that doesn't work anymore. One way to cancel out a vibration in the vehicle is to create a vibration that offsets the one that's already inherently in the vehicle and that appears to be what the engineers have done with this active vibration canceling, cancellation system. I know some engineers are actually using the radio and the uh, you know bo Bose uh, noise cancellation system they're using the speakers and the radio to to do similar things in the vehicle I think Honda was the first to do that well that was just a little bonus I thought I'd throw that in there thanks for watching